Prices of oil and virtually all home heating fuels continue to soar. More people are turning to wood pellets as an alternative. In fact, pellets that are now produced right here in Maine. Steve Minnick joins us with a story. Steve. Well, John, up until seven months ago, Maine was a minor player in the wood pellets market. A small mill up in Ashland was the only place in the state manufacturing them. But ever since April, with the opening of Corinth Wood Pellets just north of Bangor, Maine is now pumping out tons of pellets every day. I know there's other people trying to get plants. They're talking about putting plants up. It's an astronomical amount of money, and just the logistics of trying to find your machinery, it's, it's, it's horrendous. But Ken Eldridge says he's so confident in the growing popularity of pellets, he's invested more than $4 million into opening this plant. Pellets are, are a renewable resource. We're using pellets, we're making pellets out of uh, sawmill waste. Waste that arrives to Corinth mostly in the form of sawdust from mills throughout the Northeast and Canada. Truckloads deliver tons every day. We buy it everywhere, everywhere we can get it. Now turning this sawdust into pellets, as you can tell by all of this machinery, is a pretty high-tech science. In fact, figure for every thousand pounds of sawdust, you get about 600 pounds of pellets. First of all, when you sawdust, you've got to uh, figure what your moisture content is. If it's too dry, you don't get a pellet. If it's too wet, you don't get a pellet. It's got a half, we're within a half of a cent. See the shine on the pellet? Yep. Compared to oil or wood, Eldridge touts these pellets as a cleaner, cheaper, and more efficient heat source with very little fluctuation in price. A pellet stove right now is about 99% efficient. Very little waste, very little ash. And that, he says, is what's fueling this growing demand for pellets. A demand so great, pellet producers can't keep up. From what the Pellet Fuel Institute tells us, that th this year there will be a shortage of about 300,000 tons in the United States. For its part, operating around the clock, this plant pumps out 300 tons of pellets each day. That is 15,000 of these 40-pound bags. But even that, Ken Eldridge says, is not enough, and he's already planning to expand. I'd like to get it up to about 1,000 tons a day out of here. So basically, they take the sawdust, squeeze the moisture out, and turn it into pellets. Right now, a ton of pellets sells for about $245 a ton. And according to Eldridge, that ton is equal to about 130 gallons of oil, but the pellet price will remain constant.